The one thing that we do have absolute evidence of is that where we fly, the poaching is drastically reduced or stops. Most of the poaching in Southern Africa happens in the late afternoon and early evening. This is done so the poachers can hack off the, either the rhino's horn or the, or the elephant's tusks in the late afternoon when they still have sunlight. And generally they would then try and get out of the national parks under the cover of darkness. This is when we fly and this is when we are most effective. When we move into an area it's quite obvious the vehicles look different to normal vehicles they've got antennas on them and everybody starts asking questions about what this is and what it does and that very very quickly gets around the poaching moves it gets disrupted they have to move further and further away from their home they have to move into areas that have less rhinos or elephants in and there's definitely a decline overall in the poaching numbers We have seen poachers, we have told the task teams where they are exactly. For a few reasons, various reasons, they haven't been apprehended. The rangers can often be people who live in the local communities. You know, they may not be paid on a regular basis and we need to make sure that they have the skills in order to be able to manage a poaching situation. So if they come across it, they're treating it as a wildlife crime scene. The drones are definitely not the silver bullet to the poaching. There has to be cause and effect. So where we fly and people are found, there have to be repercussions. We need to train with ground troops. We are absolutely confident that if the money and the resources are brought to these areas, we will have an enormous effect in the reduction of poaching.